Hello, how you doing? Make sure you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Today, we're diving into a saga of Karens who thought they could push anyone around until they met their match. But before we jump into the showdowns, here's a question for you. Have you ever clapped back at a Karen? Couldn't wait to get out of the plane. So she starts arguing with people to make way for her. When they don't budge, she loses her mind and bulldozes her way through. I understand that we are all are waiting, but... I enter, uh, well, that's not how I work. I re make the rules as I go. Well, it's... Well, I make the rules as I go. I don't know about you, but I do. <laughs> well, I break well, them. Um, guess what? And I'm breaking them right now, too. Excuse me. Oh, my Excuse God. Me. Hey, boss. Hey, sir. Hey, we got a hostile one back here. Yes, we do. Hostile. He is yes. soon. He's right. knocking people yes. over. Well, don't be rude to me, because I one thing I can do is be rude back to you. It's what I can okay. be. Okay. Oh. I am, but I'm just saying, she's talking I'm hostile, but I can be rude as well. Yeah, I didn't push no damn body. You want to stand in the way like you're a bodyguard, I moved you out my way is what I did. Have a great day. I love you. And I kiss it more and more and more. And kiss your ass today. Don't tell me to kiss your ass. Don't do that. That's, it's not worth it. It's not, because guess what? You you think I look pretty, but you'll see the ghetto come out of me, darling. Oh, I know. I can see that everywhere. Yes, indeed. Thank you, darling. It is clear as that day. One more person. Wow, you're going to get on faster. I know. Oh, that, that is so amazing. Do you want to buy your trick and lunch when I come to you? If this in the aisle, in the end, we're going to have a so sorry. Listen, let me tell you. I'm Complete. so sorry. We have arrived in Fort Lauderdale. I didn't mean to. She did. She so wants to stay in the way. The flight attendant is on. That's good. That's good. I don't mind about that. We're going to deep plane with aircraft in, the state in a very civilized, polite manner. <laughs> Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. Have Thank a great day. Thank you so much. Polite manner, ma'am. Yes, I can be really ignorant. Probably ain't seen nobody like me yet. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you have? But guess what? I see more people like you, Josh, Karen. You are going to <laughs> no, see more people like you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, darling, I get paid to be on TV. <laughs> yeah, I can act just as well as you can. I'm having fun. I love it. And I can buy you all drinks and dinner if you're ready. You know, if you want to go to pick your restaurant, I buy it. Pick my card. Hello? I'm not going to, I'm not going to just over here. I'm not going to step. But sure, let me help you. Okay, okay. Well, sit down. Hello, how you doing? Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Let her know that Karen was such an asshole, told me to kiss her ass. That's what she told me. But guess what? I make, I make the rules as I go. I'm Don't forget to shop my brand. Thank you. You going to still record? Make, I'm talking to this lady right here. See her? Got a phone? Cameras are always watching, darling. Always a professional. So, so be sure to do oh no, they didn't catch so. me. They didn't they look. They didn't catch me. Either. But they called it. Hello. I hope you did. And don't forget to put me on World Star Instagram, Facebook. I'm all there. Huh? You're not worth it. It's not um, worth it. You're not. I'm an African American, darling. So, I'm always worth it. You're not. I'm a rude, I'm ignorant, I'm urban, I'm everything that you don't want me to be. And guess what? You and your camera, darling. Yes, it is everywhere I go. You get me a good drink, I'll show you who the I am. She want to record, I'll give her a show. I'm an entertainer, darling. I apologize, I'm so sorry. No, they don't. They really don't. Like, you don't care about me either. There you, the, don't touch me. Oh, no, you're, no. you're assaulting me now. You're assaulting no, no. me. You're touching me. You're assaulting me. Can you get off this plane? No, you need to go to hell. Thank you. No, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. I'll make sure I save a spot for you. What an idiot. What an idiot. Uh-oh, Mr. Karen got kicked out of the plane for his wild behavior. When the staff asked him to leave, he flat out refused and sat still. So the pilot had no choice but to deboard everyone. No, you're not going to be getting on this flight, I'm sir. On, we I'm need not doing you it. There's a the dangerous off. one. You're crazy. Oh, you're there. crazy. Sir. I'm not leaving. Sir. Ever. Sir. I'm putting my belt on. They all know. F*** you. Fly the plane. Now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to deplane this aircraft. Fine. Find the plane. Now. These black guys behind jackets. Hell yeah. Get up. Get up. Now. Now you know, don't f with me! Fly the plane! The black hijack! Fly the f plane! Now! 
Damn right. Oh, again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to deplane this aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain speaking. We're going to go ahead and deplane the airplane. We have a maintenance issue also that needs to be corrected. So uh, everybody gather your stuff and um, deplane the airplane this minute. Thank you for your cooperation. This Karen thought she was some kind of gangster and tried to threaten the staff after getting kicked out of the plane. Guess what? Her tough act didn't last long when the cops arrived, cuffed her, and carried her away like she was yesterday's trash. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Why they carrying her? Damn. Why are they doing all that? They got that bitch by her hands and her feet. These Karens were causing a scene on the plane, and one of them even had the audacity to put her hands on a passenger. The poor staff tried to calm things down, but they were just too wild for him to control. This crazy guy completely lost his mind and started acting like a mad wild animal. But the staff took control of the situation really well. And eventually, the cops showed up to escort him out.
A flight attendant wants a mom to settle down, but she's already doing it. When she says everything's fine, he gets upset and tells the pilot to kick the whole family out. The dad tries to reason with them, but the flight attendant has the audacity to smack his phone. In the end, the family, with a seven-month-old baby, gets kicked off. He told me I needed to sit down and put my seatbelt on. She said, you need to get up. I said, do you want to go? She said, is there going to be a problem? I said, no, there's not going to be. I didn't get aggressive for her. I didn't say, and he, the young man that just said I got aggressive, he wasn't even there. He was all the way in the bed. I didn't do anything. Okay. I'm not, I wasn't here. I'm not saying what you did, but um, when the captain's made that request, I don't have, I don't have any override. How can the captain make a request for something that he didn't see? He didn't know. There's no also what is this? Like, all of these people on the plane, I didn't do anything. No one did anything. Do you, do you have your belongings? Do you just okay. Have we need to have to go. go. And we had we had witnesses. I just want this to be known that she has a newborn. You're putting her off the plane due to the negligence of one of and unprofessionalism of one of your staff members. She did absolutely nothing. No, yes, no, that's absolutely wrong. You weren't even here. Absolutely wrong. I didn't do anything. I don't have to do anything. Who are you talking about? Somebody who saw this and heard it, I hope y'all speak up. Because it's wrong. Everybody who's been around here who know that when this this fellow over here came to get up, he came to get up, and we were getting up out our seat to move. She said, can you move? We said, are we going to move? She said, can you give us space to get out? It is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. look at this. Look at that. Look at that. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. You weren't here. And yet, yet you took, you took, you took the opinion of somebody else over somebody carrying a child, a baby. You have the wrong impression of me, number one. Well, guess what? You gave me that impression. You earned that impression. You earned it. You earned it. You earned it. This is what's happening. Trust me. You will be hearing from us on the, on the legal level. We all got we all got legal backing. Lawyers. Not dealing with no dummy. Makes no sense. I hope you sleep well tonight, brother. I hope you do. Thank you for speaking up, sir. Thank you for speaking up. She didn't even bump into her. She asked that because she knew. So we can get out the seat. Then she told her, sit down, have a seat, put your seatbelt on. To a mother with a seven-week-old child. Told her to sit down, have a seat, buckle your seatbelt. It's ridiculous. Catherine, I want you to know you have a very impatient, unprofessional, and negligent staff. That's you right there. That's you. Now, see that? That's her. That's her right there. Well, we don't have no choice. They put us off. I'm getting, I'm getting it. It. Look at that. American Airlines. Look at that. Let's go, sir. Let's go. Let's go. All right. This crazy Karen was causing a scene on the plane, trying to get out first, but the staff knows how to handle crazy Karens. He confronted her with the facts and shut her down real fast. It doesn't matter, you have an hour, it's not that hard. Believe me. I'm not gonna have you I'm not gonna have you make the, all these other people get mad. Now call over that gate and I won't let them let you get on the plane if you don't settle down. I understand. I I live here. I work here. I know how big the airport is. Yes. And do you, and do you, you live here? Do you also know that our flight was, was canceled twice? Like well, I don't know about that one. I know this one's it's leaving at 4 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock. You have one hour to get there. And if you don't settle down, I'm going to have somebody take you off this aircraft, but it's not going to be going to your next one. You understand me? You're not the only people on this aircraft. This male Karen on the plane freaks out about another passenger taking too much overhead bin space. The staff try to chill him out, but guess what? Karen ramps up the situation and ends up getting kicked off the plane. Okay, I put your luggage up there. His, his luggage up there now. You don't have any space. Yeah. I got you. Now there's no space. He's got no space. He have no space. He put his luggage up here. Look. The maximum 
Sorry, I'm gonna ask you one more time. If you continue, no, don't step, point please, it. Don't please, push your finger please, in. Please stop. You point your finger at me one more to, time. I'm, I'm gonna call to, the police. I'm gonna tell you to stop. No, if you point your finger at me one more time, I'm gonna call the police. I'm not pointing no fingers. I'm just saying. To no, you, you point, point your finger stop. at me. You need to stop with this whole logistics. Point your finger at me. I'm gonna call the police. Call the police on me. No, you point the you're watching. No, okay, sir. That's okay. Bill, sir. Please be seated and fasten your seatbelt. Mr. Karen was acting all tough, picking a fight with the plane crew. The cop kept telling him to sit down, but he just wouldn't listen. Finally, the cop ran out of patience, and guess what? Karen ends up in cuffs. You don't got it, sit You down. don't got it! Sit down. 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 Let me explain this real easy for you. If you, don't sit, if you don't sit down right now, you're going to spend the rest of this flight in handcuffs. Do you want to stand with you? No, sit down. Put your seatbelt on. If you get up again, if you get up again, you're going to spend the rest of this flight in Sit down. Forward. Oh, man. 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 Oh, man.